Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Janelle and Christine Brown of Sister Wives discuss how their kids feel about polygamous unions. Janelle and Christine Brown discuss their children's opinions of the Mormon Church and whether any of them have chosen a polygamous lifestyle. Janelle and Christine Brown, stars of the television show Sister Wives, are being open about how their kids feel about polygamous unions. The couple, who have now ended their plural marriage to ex-Cody Brown, said that the majority of their kids are opposed to polygamy in a new interview with People. No one in our family has decided to live a polygamous lifestyle. Janelle, 54, told the publication, We don't even really have any that are in the Mormon Church, the mainstream, Latter-day Saints Church. We simply encourage them to develop a connection with God as they grew up, and I believe many of them do so today. I believe that polygamy is challenging and that it requires a strong religious conviction, which they simply lack. Similar sentiments are expressed by Christine, 51, who tells people that the majority of her kids reject it. Some of our kids have seen how hard it is, and some of our kids have seen the separation. Christine remarked in reference to her and Cody's separation in November 2021. When they realize how difficult it is, they exclaim, No, 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 that's not for me, please. Christine, who has now moved on from the marriage and just became engaged to fiance David Woolley, shares Peyton, Aspen, Michaelty, Wendlin, Ye Sable, and Truly with the sister wives patriarch. In the meantime, Janelle and Cody's 30-year spiritual marriage came to an end when they split up in December. The 18 children in total of the Brown family will be raised under one roof until they don't fit anymore, according to Janelle, the mother of sons Logan, Hunter, Garrison and Gabriel, as well as daughters Madison and Savannah. Cody's children from his marriages to Christine, Janelle, Robin Brown, and Mary Brown range in age from 7 to 29. Janelle recounted, We tried living in one house as long as we could until we didn't fit longer. We had this goal that the children would be reared together as siblings. We genuinely cared about that dream. Our objective was that broad view. Christine, who is still trying to resolve her problems with other family members, expressed her optimism that they will be able to work together once more in the future. Christine continued, I'm hoping that eventually we can work as a family again, I believe that we have smaller, more dispersed families that collide, creating waves and bumps, like boats on the lake. Although the waves can be rather choppy at times, hopefully they will become peaceful once we are all together. When the two nasty sister wives argue, Janelle tells Cody to shut your f ing mouth, which changes everything. After arguing with her polygamist husband about their kids, gaslighting and respect, Janelle says, I feel like Cody and I are no longer going to be a couple. The sister wives actors Cody and Janelle Brown's marriage might be irreparably damaged after an argument over the holidays became physical. Due of the COVID limitations Cody placed on them all during lockdown, the family relationship was already tense. He believed that some of the children, particularly his sons with Janelle, were disobeying his commands and placing their social life above their safety. They, however, believed that he put Robin and his family before everyone else. Everything turned out to be incredibly messy, which caused a severe rift inside the family and between Cody and his kids. He once demanded an apology from the lads before changing his tune and saying he just wanted to talk to them about what happened. That never transpired and emotions grew even higher. After doing the same for Thanksgiving, Janelle had intended to spend Christmas alone with her children while the fallout persisted into the winter of 2022. She intended to divide the expense of renting an Airbnb with her ex-wife Christine, who would then take over with her children after Christmas. On Sunday's new edition of the TLC show, Cody discussed her scheme and stated, As much as it's probably my fault, it's like a knife right through my heart. She also claimed that her choice was just absolutely heartbreaking to me. However, he informed her that he had no plans to visit her property and that he had his own home, where he would be spending the holiday with everyone else, or at the very least with Robin, Mary, and their kids. He complained to Janelle about the family's apparent communication breakdowns, and she advised him to call the boys directly to set the record straight. She said to him, you always put it back on me. She continued, it still surprises me Cody feels like it's my responsibility to help him build this relationship with his kids in a confessional. 
He has children, just as I do. Without mentioning if he had actively contacted out, Cody only stated that the phone goes both ways and that he had been available to talk to them. According to Janelle, who felt compelled to choose between her husband and her children, a situation she did not want to be in, she didn't want to be the middleman anymore. Cody claimed he felt like he was being gaslit by his wife as they fought over the rules he set on the family during COVID and his seeming lack of clarity. She expressed the same sentiment, claiming that he was gaslighting her and that he had turned the tables on her. She pushed back, saying he was acting as though the family tension was entirely her fault. You need to stop putting me under the bus, he said. She fought back once more when he suggested she wasn't taking accountability for her own actions, claiming she hadn't done anything wrong but still believed that nothing was ever good enough for Cody. Then he questioned whether she even desired this situation between you and I to work, which was met with a retort from her. They were obviously in a deadlock. I accepted the CDC guidelines. Cody, you always had more, yet it was never good enough. In the midst of the pandemic, I wasn't going to send my boys out. Janelle said he yelled at her many, many times about whether Cody requested an apology from the boys or not as they argued once more. He continued, the lack of loyalty, the lack of trust, the lies, and the gaslighting. He then acknowledged that he was angry about the situation. I want you to be accountable in a relationship. Later, Janelle said that Cody's problems with his children go way deeper than conflicts over COVID. She continued, you're acting like it's just that they disregarded you for COVID, adding that the kids are very frustrated for a lot of reasons. However, he claimed that the children were lying and that Robin was to blame for their conflict before saying that he had tried to bring the family together and felt like Atlas carrying this family on my shoulders. Then suddenly, Janelle said, I think you decided you didn't want to be a plural husband anymore. She said that she believed his actions were intended to drive her away and that he no longer ever visits her, so she never knows when you're gonna come by. You violated the fundamental guidelines I set. You teased the boys about me, he retorted. Have you ever worked as a team with me if I needed you to have my back? Have we ever leased a car? Why do you have a child with Christine? There's a problem in the family, a problem that needs to be solved. Everything's getting too hot right now, and everyone thinks I'm the bad guy, he added. I don't anticipate seeing anyone over the holidays. You have robbed me of my ability to communicate with my family. During the altercation, they kept talking over each other, and frustrated Janelle finally said, Shut your f ing mouth and let me talk to you for a minute. You keep breaking off. Cody was furious and jumped from the sofa telling her he didn't need her to back me up any longer. I don't anticipate you attempting to assist us in co-parenting the children. It's too late. We won't ever accomplish it, he yelled. We have what kind of partnership then? For all these years, I've been here day in and day out without your help while you made decisions without consulting me. I've had enough of your talk. Then as she begged him to stay, he started to go toward the door. He said, closing the door behind him, I'm not going to because you're not listening. Before instructing the producers to turn off the cameras, Janelle yelled, F. You. To Cody as he walked away. Janelle described the outburst as shocking in a confessional after it happened. When he departed, she stated, I was really upset because it feels like there's a finality to it and now I'm worried about what happens to me. Moving forward, should I construct or live here? It was so dramatic that I felt like Cody and I will no longer be a couple. There had been a lot of buildup, and even though the words were severe, the sensation was more like, we're done. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.